Shade on Shadeology, excuse me. <clears throat> and when they tr when they try Shadeology, the whole world's going to open up, and that's where you make the money. You know, I tried that, but this is what they were saying. Shakeology is too expensive. I've already bought this $100 product. I'm not going to now go buy Shakeology every month. It's so expensive. They just, they just don't want it. Well, <clears throat> then what you need to say is, all right, what are you eating for lunch? Or what are you having for breakfast? Because it's really not too expensive. $4 a meal, right? You've heard these advertisements. $5 foot long, whatever that is. <laughs> Vodka. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what you need to impress upon people is that it's not about it's not about how expensive the bag is, it's how much is a the most nutritious meal, the healthiest meal of the day, worth to them. And when they size that up against a, you know a five dollar foot long thing or a happy meal or whatever whatever else you can get out there for four dollars. That's why Beachbody has that bottom of the bag guarantee. Because once you see what four dollars a meal can feel like, your whole life changes. I mean, obviously, regularity, more energy, uh, uh, just feeling better. It helps you lose weight because you stay more regular. It keep you still feel full throughout the day. I mean, really, they, they've got to try it. That's why they do the money back guarantee. Are you talking to people about the money back guarantee? I am, but you know, you're just a, you're successful. Obviously, you're great at sales. I'm not great at sales, and I just don't know how to talk to people. They just always run away from me. They think I'm just going to try and sell them. I just don't want to be a salesperson. Yeah, I get that. I hear that a lot too. That's you know, I was at this leadership event in Dallas, and one of the things that if if you hear Craig Holiday talk, you hear any of these people talk, it's not about you selling. To somebody, and I think that's where your mind is getting all sort of backwards on this. You didn't come into this business saying, "Oh, well, I'm going to be a super salesman." There's nothing wrong with being a salesperson, right? But selling is not about putting something on somebody. What you want to sell to them. What selling is about. What great selling is about is solving someone's problem. If it so happens to be that what you offer can solve that problem for them, we all know that. So many people in this world are, they lack energy, or they're out of shape, or they lack motivation. That's what coaching is about. You're helping them overcome that problem. I mean, weight loss comes up in conversations, and as you said, you know, so many people with PNDX, not that many people succeed with the program that there's not a role for a coach who says, I'll help you with the food program, let me log you into WOWIE, are you, are you signing up for your chance to win $1,000? I mean. There's so many ways for you to support people that they won't feel sold, they'll feel helped. And when people feel helped, they'll actually buy. That's sales to me, right? I mean, I wouldn't feel comfortable if I went out there and was trying to convince people to buy stuff that was not something that they wanted. My job is to listen, to ask questions. As MJ said, to ask ex expanding questions. Why did you like that? You know, what did you like about it, and why did you like that? When you find out why, now you're getting more information so that you can expand on, oh, well, if you like that about Shakeology, or if you like that about P90X, did you know that this exists? Like they might say, I like that Tony Horton guy. He's very clever. He's a very funny guy. Well, did you know that there's other videos that he's done? What are you going to do after P90X? Or, you know, what did you like about that Shakeology DVD or the Shakeology audio CD? Well, I like that that could help me lose weight and da da da. But it's a little. They might even they might even give you an objection, seeing that you're already going to be talking to them further. They might be like, yeah, but it's it's a little too expensive for me right now. That's when you turn it into look. If you like that, which is what you hang on to, if you like that about it, I would love to see you try it. I would love to see you try this for a month, because I'm telling you, I, I wouldn't feel comfortable as a friend of yours, or maybe I got referred to you by a friend, I wouldn't feel comfortable if you were trying this and didn't have a chance to get your money back. I wouldn't, I wouldn't feel comfortable if, if I didn't feel good about this product. That's the kind of conversation that you need to have with people. I think what's happening for you in this business is that you're waking up and you're sort of inside your four walls and you're filled with fear. And you're like, oh, I gotta sell people. I gotta think of something to say that's gonna break the ice. 
And instead of taking what you've learned here at this event and thinking, how do I share this with people? How do I listen to people better? That's what you need to do. Can, do you think you could just stick around a little bit longer just to, just to continue to try the things, try the training a little bit more? Well, I mean, it's, it's a lot of time. I mean, to be able to work on skills like that, I just, I've got kids and I've got a job. I mean, how do I fit that in? I, I've been trying already, so it's just not working. All right, okay. You know what? I understand. I, I understand a little bit better what's going on here. I mean, I, I see, and I, I don't want you to do something you don't want, but would you do one thing for me? Okay, would you, can I get my upline diamond on the phone with us, or, or just, just to talk to you? Would you just listen to him? Because, look, I, I'm new to this, too. I'm just starting to learn this business, but he might be able to help, okay? All right, All right let me... Beep, boop, boop, beep, boop, boop. <laughs> Hello, who's this? Craig? Hey, Carl, what's up? Hi. Audio, can we have Craig's mic back on? Oh, I'm on now. Hi, Craig, come on over here a second. Okay. Um, Christine Gar, you know Christine, she's in our downline. I've met her a couple times. Yeah, well, she's thinking of quitting. And, and I'm obviously not, you know, I, I, I was at the Dallas event and I got excited about everything. I think there's a lot of opportunity, and, uh, but she's making a lot of valid points and frankly, it's weakening my resolve a little bit. And, uh, uh, you know, I'm going to stay with it, but, but I haven't been able to turn the corner with her. She's actually about to turn in a resignation on the business and give up her, her spot. I, I guess my question, I had asked Christine, why'd you get in this? Well, um, I have two small kids, and I just really want to work with them at home. I, I just don't like my job, and I really just want to be at home with them. Has that changed? Well, I'm still working my job because this is not working out. I mean, I'm trying everything, and I feel like nothing's working. So what kind of alternatives do you have right now? I mean, like, you want to be with your kids, you want to spend time with them, and spend time with your husband, and accomplish you out of a crazy job I know you're in. So what are your options out there right now? Well, I mean, 